people who are working at home, we've had a great summer in lockdown. We've had uh, nice sunny weather. Everybody's got a tan of the gardens look brilliant. Mm. Um, but come come autumn, winter, when we're winter. all sat at home in the dark, in the cold, in the um, and we all put our heating on, all put our electrics on. Some people people are going to start asking questions as to, well, who's paying for this? I'm working, but I'm also paying for my home environment. So going back to the landlord or going back to the clients and employers, saying it's costing me a fortune to be at home all this time. The employers yeah. are going. To, are they going to start contributing to bills? Are then employers going to go back to the landlords and say, well, it's costing me a fortune now because I've got people at home, and you're still pay. I'm still being billed for the same amount of energy at work as well. So there's a small tax benefit. Up? There's a small tax benefit which we've just uh, advised all the staff for. Uh, but you know, it ultimately does that cover the reality of the costs on being at home. Yeah, that yeah, tax yeah. benefit's different, isn't it? Because we've, we've been looking at that and the tax benefit of like the room that you're working for. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's we're home working. It's, home it's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the, it's interesting you raised that, John, because we had a, a client that was, um, in fact, Mark and I have just been vetting their approach. And, you know, they they were sort of talking around um, sort of allowing, it's like building in their, in their policies to move forward that if people want to work from home, they can buy a monitor screen and they can charge it back to the company. So we're then saying, well, does that then belong, does that asset belong to the business? So you've bought something for home, the client, the, the employer has paid for it. So technically that's their asset. Then you've, got to, do, yeah. then you've got to standardize what they buy because it's your yeah. asset. And, and the same respect of if somebody says they've been working nine hours a day, how do you prove it? How do you prove that to the employer that they should pay that rate and, and you know that that electricity wasn't your dishwasher running all day or you know, it's really difficult. It's a really interesting sort of breakdown. And maybe energy providers are looking at how they can best support, you know, people working from home because, you know, we, we can't prove that. And the conversations we're having with our client around that at the time, you know, they were completely aligned in how are we going to do this? Because it's so difficult, it's so difficult to prove. Phone lines as well. You know, everyone has a mobile these days, which pretty much is a contract. Internet connection. Yeah. Yeah. Internet connection as well. So really interesting. It might just have to be a baseline cost that is, people have to think about. Is there yeah. a compromise though, isn't there? You know, that there's got to be some form of compromise, in, you know, having more flexibility working from home, da, da 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 I suppose it's in your advantage to have the best broadband connection you can have, you know, to have the best office mini setup you can have. So I suppose ultimately, otherwise, well, let's come back into the office then, isn't it? It's, it's, it's that yeah. compromise, I think, with people. It's and it's difficult. so difficult now, Gav, because if this had been one month, the, you know, we, we did change management at, with, within VIX. And, um, you know, if it had been one month, people would have been off enough of a time to say, yeah, that was all right. I enjoyed working from home. Here's what I learned. But I, yeah, I'm ready to come back. The issue is it's been so long. That yeah. This is now everybody's new normal. So to make, you know, for me, my commute to work um, from Wimbledon to the city of London is about 50 minutes. Well, in 50 minutes, I can be down here straight away in the morning working as soon as I start. And on my commute, I, can't, I haven't got that same access. So we're now weighing up, well, how much do I need to go in the office? And the only reason I'll go into the client offices is because I need to see a particular person. And actually, it's better to have that conversation. So... It, it, so actually for me as well and because of the way that we work with our clients you know we can be flexible and, and you know I haven't had a desk for the past I don't even know six years probably because being consulted we don't we don't work that way but I think a lot of people are using it for some really interesting conversations as to say I can't come back to the office now because it's summer holidays and my kids are, are off school and then we've had a challenge back to say well you know, kids are always going to be off during the summer holidays, but it's the summer holiday camps that aren't open to support those kids. Yeah, yeah. Things. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you get so much, people's mindset now is, well, I've had to work from, from home. I've proven I can. So I'm going to continue with it. And, and actually, you know, from an employer's perspective, and, you know, we're all employers pretty much on this call, it's really hard because you want to see your team because you want to help develop them. You want to help bounce ideas off. and Zooms are exhausting, right? That you know, this is a really exhausting time to be digitally on all the time. And I miss seeing, you know, I miss seeing Mark and Robin and Erica. Well, Erica's in Madrid, so <laughs> don't see her that often. Um, but to actually have that FaceTime is so important. Um, mm. 
people are using it to their advantage to sort of stay and get their Amazon parcels, do their washing. See I think, I think it, it, it is exhausting because I think I, I personally found, I think everyone may be the same, it's becoming much easier instead of like, you know, you ping an email or a quick call, shall we have a quick Teams call? Quick Zoom, so yeah. You, you tend to find you don't have a quick zoom. That quick zoom ends up being half an hour. Then you have another your, one. Your manager, it's your management time though, Gav. I know they're all working at yeah. home with you're digitally involved with them and you'll be at the forefront. So I know from your point of view, I, I know exactly you'll know how many hours they're working because I know the type of guy yeah. you are. But it's taken you, right, to focus on the running of the company rather than on the company to develop mm -hmm. your business, isn't it? Yeah, you're yeah. Totally yeah. all that. You need to, it's your time spent maybe better. Well, at the moment, monitoring your staff to make sure the efficiencies and answering the queries where you can't talk to them. But it's difficult though with being a, to be in a different environment to the office though, isn't it? That you miss interaction, but you miss conversations, you miss what, what's happening uh, on other jobs, you miss um, leadership qualities, perhaps. You know yeah. what you said about the... Uh, after being in retirement, right, I can tell you the worst months when you're retired are the winter months. Because mm. you get depressed, honestly, because there's no golf, there's no holidays, there's nothing. You want to be away and stuff like that. I'm sure people working from home will feel like that. The same, I don't yeah. know. Mm. The benefits of my company when we were running uh, uh, the companies that I worked for was getting uh, brainstorming sessions together. And all that sort of stuff and they didn't you know in conversation i go in conversations to me you john in the office and i always yeah, yeah. come out there having to spend money after being you but it's a little <laughs> brainstorm isn't it but yeah so you don't get boring, that over here you, you know yeah, you don't yeah, get yeah. it you know yeah. it's not often used with workplace but i think the word best suit in it is osmosis isn't it it's the things that happen naturally that just you absorb information from catching conversation from bumping into someone on your way to get a drink from from all those things that just don't happen when you just sat at home. Invaluable. Well, I yeah. remember, I remember John being, you know, at so vibrant, and we'd have conversations in the kitchen, and you know, there may be opportunities that we, you know, be bringing in tender opportunities or opportunities just. Yeah, to exactly. Yeah, yeah. And and those types, you know, particularly in in the in the um, environment that you're in, and all those mini um, sort of businesses, it's it's just absolutely intrinsic to being able to yeah. continue your business being successful. And I think for, for us, we've really, you know, being relatively new to the industry in terms of the business, we haven't been able to go to networking events. I'm better if I'm able to talk to people about what we do. People don't yeah. necessarily want to sit on a Zoom and hear about a business that, you know, yeah, yeah. we know you're there, but I've got to sort, like to, to Alan's point, I've got to sort my team out. I need to understand what my efficiencies are. I haven't really got time to now sit on another call and hear about a, a business where actually we're trying to work through our strategy. So it really doesn't help like not having that interaction from our perspective. And we you know we're very fortunate to have been, you know, recommended and had word of mouth. So we're, we're continuing with getting new projects that way, but you know, thank God we've got that previous reputation because otherwise we, we would be really struggling. Yeah. But there is place. a whole community. There is a whole network that you depend on and bumping yeah. into people, meeting people, um, getting recommendations. Mm -hmm. uh, you do depend on that.